in. We're back, everybody. We're going to start this one off hot. We are still sweating, as you guys are know. We are recording these simultaneously so we can get set and ready for Christmas. And we are still sweating that same goddamn bet. Nick is not doing good, everybody. I'm not mad. I mean, that's all money I've won already. So Where I'm like, it'd at? be cool. I mean, I started with scratch before all this. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'll just build it all back up again. What, so wh- how much time does he have? He still got a whole nother quarter. Okay. Oh, we got time. We got maybe for the Christmas episode we'll is where you're gonna really see some dicey yeah. action. Yeah, like, he still has a whole nother minutes, quarter. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, damn, say I need to score already. <laughs> well, we're gonna start this episode off hot because this week is the week. Uh, we may be posting an episode up this Friday as well, depending on if the schedules are working out in the future. We're not too sure at the moment, but Nick Ferrier. This week is the first week that you're coming up on where you were going to be on stage doing stand up comedy. You excited for that shit or what? Yeah. You got do you have a set set up for it and everything? Are you all done? Have you done any rehearsals or anything? You got it just really in my car, really. Just like talk points like how I want to hit stuff. Like I'll just do it, like turn the radio off or something. Cause like it comes it's weird, like when I'm driving to work is normally like when I get the most creativity. Like when I'm just driving to work sitting there. You're just and then I just wandering. put I just put shit in my notes, like you know to make sure it's flowing or mm-hmm. you know everything. Hell yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to watch you do it as the I did the first one. It was super fucking sick to see that and do that. Um, I'm excited for Cody yeah. Ray to introduce you into it. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not really telling jokes. It's more just like get people laughing and involved. You know, just really. That's my that's the whole goal I think to be as a host, get them interacting and laughing and so that's really what I'm trying to do. You got a wireless mic or a wired mic? Wire no wireless. 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 Okay. Then you can walk out with the crowd a little bit. Yeah, get that's what I'm saying. Like even. and just like like I'm gonna bring up Yellowstone because everybody's talked about, everybody knows Yellowstone and I shit don't. like that. Well You'll get nothing out of me. That's all right. You'll get nothing out of me. You fucked up. That's crazy. I can't believe yeah, that. That's fucked up. But no, uh uh, I want you to do it again. So, as you know, you just did it. I want to see it. I want to hear it. I want to uh, bring these motherfuckers to it. It's oh the last goodness. week. It's the last week of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So All your right, show. y'all. It's so your, your, boy. Show. your boy, Fairy Tale, is doing stand up comedy at Moonshine Comedy Club in Fremont, Ohio, December 23rd. Tickets are on sale at moonshine.com. Chris Harvey headlining. Elijah Neville's going to be there. It's going to fucking kill. Come through. Where the fuck is moonshine.com? <laughs> I thought it was. I thought they have a website. No, Eventbrite is where it's ran through. Oh. That's where the link is. If you look up moonshine.com, oh. I'm so curious to what pops up. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on there and it's just straight Tennessee well, fuck, moonshine. Our, the tickets are in a bio. Just go to our bio. Yeah, yeah, just go to the bio for sure. And if you if it's not already sold out yet, as you know, pre-recorded, uh, the second show's probably out. But if it's not, it's, it's probably getting close because I, I know that last week we got hurled in with tickets nonstop mm-hmm. for that first show. So what does Moonshine.com bring up? Could you Literally nothing. Literally nothing? It looks like nothing. It might yeah. be age restricted. Don't come is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super stoked for it. You know what I'm not super stoked for? Whatever the fuck Taylor has set up for this episode, which is terrifying. I know. He's sitting back there all cozy wozy. There's his a big little hoodie. coffee pot set up over there. Apparently, we're trying coffee this episode. Right, I don't know what's going on. We got need, a lot of stuff to do today. Do you so. need time to prep it? or? Yeah, a little bit, but I'll talk. Did you prep do. already? I have not. I ground up some beans, fresh ground beans today. I'll grind uh, your that beans. I found for you guys. I procured that you found. Well, not found. I need to go around picking up. Oh, so, so, um, <laughs> I'll just read to you guys the uh, description here. It's a coffee I've been wanting to try for a very long time. It's called Kopi Luwak. You guys ever hear of it? No, Mm-mm. no. It smells it smells great, honestly. It I says Kopi Luwak smells good. Is the Rolls Royce of the coffee world? Oh shit! The very best premium tasting coffee money can buy. I spent good money on this, guys. Um. <laughs> The Asian Amazon palm civet is a tree-living creature indigenous to Indonesia. They select only the ripest, tastiest coffee beans, and these beans pass through whole. They are then collected, thoroughly cleaned, and then roasted for you to enjoy the richest and most luxurious cup of coffee. Made from a grade one Kopi Luwak Arabic, Arabica blend, or Arabica blend. Oh my gosh. So wait there's these let's, civets. Let's, are let's, these yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah, go. Wait, hold on. Did I hear that right? Did I hear that right? 
That's what I'm about to find out. Like what? <laughs> wait, wait, so wait. some animal finds the best beans, eats it, shits it out, and somebody picks those up, washes them. A jungle and sells cat. Them. A jungle cat <laughs> eats these beans. The premium ones, the best ones. The best ones. Really? Very the Rolls Royce shit. You know how cats are super picky about what they eat? Wild jungle cats also are. They only pick the best beans. Yeah, but how do you know? How do you know that the best they, ones are the ones that they eat, not the ones that they don't eat? Is this coffee. wild cat poop? This, so these are beans yeah. that have been eaten by wild jungle cats and then ground up, cleaned off. You know. Where did you get this? Amazon.com. If, 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 <laughs> if I get salmon vanilla, I'm going to be pissed. If you get what? Salmon vanilla. Some vanilla. <laughs> I want some vanilla. Salmon vanilla. Some vanilla. Salmon and vanilla. vanilla? I just call it some vanilla. I want some vanilla. So I got a little pour over here. Jeez, are you watching the and, uh, <laughs> He's sweating yeah. so hard over I'm gonna here. I'm going to get this prepped, and then you guys are going to brew it for me. How, are we, how do we got to brew it? Because I'm not on camera. Oh. There's, okay. a, there's a seat up here. Oh, well, we didn't think this through. Yeah, we didn't think that part through, but that's okay. So you're putting, right now, currently, you're putting the coffee grounds that's into kinda, the pot. Huh, this looks cool. This yeah, I cool. also forgot my extra paper filters, so this is going to come out pretty... Chunky. Pretty dark. You're a dick. Um, I, I didn't what? mean to forget them. What? So I'm going to bring the, the pour over to you now, and then I'm going to bring you the tea kettle here in a little bit. Okay. Can I smell that, too, while we have it, then? Um, yeah, you can get away. Yeah, walk us through here, well, Tech. Walk us through. Okay, so we got the, cof- we got the coffee tri- cups Have you tried these right yet? Now. Hold on. Yeah, he, so he said he tried this, and that's all I got from him. He didn't want to tell me anything more than just flat out that he's tried it. All right, so we just had to cut the uh, cameras because we have so much stuff plugged into here, and we he blew decided to warm up some water, which then broke the fucking breaker, and we went into it just darkness. Tripped. Just a little kick and Sorry. now just a little your trip. house was made when we still had to heat our water over a fucking fire. The house was made when a lot of things were happening in this world. I'm trying okay. to go back to that time. <laughs> the world was having its first war. I have to. Yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, we don't got to go any farther. So, but no, you have hot water and you have the beans already yeah, here, like you were talking about. Two so parts of coffee. Let's yeah. get back into this so now. This Explain. Is, this is the poop coffee. Yes. Has anybody ever used a pour over before? No. Perfect. So you just take that water, pour it over. Oh, oh my god. Close that. It is going to be hot. And pour then we're just going to pour the a little, pour a little bit over hot. those beans. Just and a then, little bit at a time? Yeah. And then it'll start dripping through. <laughs> Cody Ray burned his fine. hand. It's, I it's got God, a spout don't on this it. everywhere. It's a little teapot. Can you see it on camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good. So if I fuck it up, we will watch. Okay, good. All right. So we are currently pouring water into the catcher thingy. Yeah. Into a strainer, pee poop. This cat poop. I don't How much like water this. does he want to put in it? Well, we need enough for you guys to all try it, and then I want a cup too. So keep going a little more. Done. Yeah, but the, the, the less water, yeah, let that go through. The more, the less water, the stronger it's gonna be, right? Yeah, a little bit. Like once it, now that it's wet, like you can probably fill that whole thing up. Oh my God! Ooh, totally he's gonna, like a Jack in the Box fucking. <laughs> fucking team, who though. gets burnt first here? I'm just gonna hold it. I Ooh, love my brother this. melted the skin off of his hand with a tea kettle before. What? He reached over the top of it as it was like spewing the steam. Oh, the steam burns are terrible. And he just melted his skin. Curtis it looked gnarly. Damn, fire. that smells yeah, good. Like, it uh-huh. smells so good down it here. Right. Baristas. I worked at a factory and like you could get steam burn if you got your gloves wet and then you put them in the press like you Ooh, touch the thing. Yeah. Ow. You get like instant steam burn. It's dangerous. Ooh. What? God bless. That sounds horrible. Damn, yeah. look at that. That smells delicious. I'm not a coffee guy. That's dark You're as fuck. Be. It is dark as Have fuck. Have you drink really this cat poop it. coffee? That looks I'm so good. For cat poop coffee. As shit, dude. So, only can't have like no watery ass cat poop can't coffee. Can't have no white coffee. It's so funny too because when we came in down here earlier, Nick was like, "I don't drink coffee. It makes me shit." I don't know. He's gonna have cat shit coffee soon. <laughs> That's so great. You did say that too. You go, "I have the poop," and then you go, "Well, you're gonna have some shit." Perfect. That was oh. pretty good, Cody Ray. All right, yeah. Let that simmer. F- we're gonna let that get through the filter. Um, is this I how got- you make your coffee every day? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Like first, this. I shit in it. <laughs> you just shit in it, and then you filter out the beans. Yeah, I pull out the. How do you grind it up? How do you grind it up? Just with my butt. 
No. No, I got a coffee grinder. You uh, just put the beans in there and then. Does it look like a weed grinder? Oh, it's electric. So you yeah. got one of those oh, fancy I could just tear up some nubs stations. in that, couldn't I? <laughs> you probably could put some weed in it. You'd want to clean it. it weed sticky though. You want me try? You want me go? Could I put it in my pour over? You think? And just make a tea. No. Depends on what you're mixing it with, because it's got to stick to a fat. Hmm. You're right. Honey. All right. So what if do we do? Put it, if you put it in honey, what okay. do we do with this thing? Okay. So now we're just gonna. Is that all filtered through? Yeah. No, Hurry, come grab no, this paper it's towel. It's still straining. So you can put the filter on it without getting coffee Damn, everywhere. Damn, that's so fucking divine. Little baristas. Hey, real quick, while we're setting this up, we didn't even promote last episode because we're all dumb as hell. We dropped some Christmas merch. Oh, yeah, we but did. we don't have it with us, of course. So we didn't purchase it or get it right away. So we are uh, we were not going to have it for Christmas, probably. Maybe for Christmas. This we'll is going out. so well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but we have the, uh, Christmas filter. merch so you can out right now. Burgeruppodcast.com. We released a whole bunch of stuff. We got some ugly sweaters for you guys. <laughs> and we also got some cool merch, some shirts and everything. Dude, that so smells de- delicious. Take that black I can't wait to have this poop. Perfect. I can't wait for this poop. Yeah, this is poop. This is actually poop. Poop coffee. We're drinking poop coffee right now. The finest of turds. You're going to get the camera lens fogged up. <laughs> it's going to be so great. <laughs> <laughs> it smells very good. Oh, I'm so yeah, happy. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Is this your pot then that you brought, Taylor? That, yeah. yeah. That's so cool. The fancy ass like, pot, it's, bro. It's nice because it's like, you don't have to deal with pods or anything. Yeah, you get a sense. Tiavana. You can make as much as you want. Like, I'll, on my days off, I'll just fill the whole fucking thing and then just work on it. Do we get, like, sugar or anything for this? No. It no, because it will dilute the shit flavor. You, I can't have you covering up like, oh, yeah, that's good sugar and cream. No, fuck you. I, I don't want cream. I'm not a little bitch, dude. I can just pour, pour yep, it, pour it through the, the nozzle. Pour it up, Cody, right? And just pour it into those cups. I'm a natural born barista. Look at this. Yeah, you this are. is beautiful. Hell yeah. You should be dude. one of those lingerie Watch, baristas. I said that now I'm gonna... What? You should be one of those lingerie baristas. Hell, Hell yeah, the ones that dude. Do you come up on I don't know lives, dude. I don't know if I want that coffee. Yeah, you got your phone <laughs> set up in the window. <laughs> Whoever made yeah, that, he's got like something them. bends over. Take <laughs> my money. <laughs> Somebody tips me, All turns right. around like there we the go. Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a pour. You hear that? What a mm-hmm. pour. This is like ASMR episode. I should have put a mic down there. Oh, shit. Can we do a whole ASMR episode no, where we, we just cannot. whisper? Those would be some And then we click, clack. I want, we all had just... fake nails that day. Oh, my God. <laughs> the most your mic has picked up today hilarious <laughs> it's got to be hot as hot as fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is that good asmr i don't know i don't have my Did headphones anybody get on. a boner what <laughs> is that the point of it <laughs> i got one do you have do you have a coffee mug over there no, I didn't grab one for me. There's still quite a bit of coffee. I don't know. Yeah. I is mean, this just strong? pour it out. Just No, when you guys are done, I'll just take one of those. Is it str- is this coffee strong? It looked pretty strong. So I'm not going to be able to sleep Serve tonight. me up. Thanks, partner. It's only 5 p.m., 6 p- 7 p.m. I already drank <laughs> oh, a... You said three different numbers, and it just I didn't slowly look. went up. I Where are we at on that game, by the way? How's your bet Red Bull looking? and smoked oh. a 30 Rock, so... <laughs> you don't know? Well, how much time's left? <laughs> You're not even Eight joking, minutes. are you? In the fourth? Yeah. About the Red Bull, yeah. <laughs> About the Red Bull. <laughs> Can't have it. Gives me heartburn. It smells like tobacco. Cheers. Oh, you're blocking. All right, everybody, cheers Dwight. to Dude, cat it's poop hot coffee. as fuck. Huh? Was it hot in your mouth? I didn't even drink it. Oh, you bitch. I just made that sound. Cheers, everybody. Did cheers. You, did you drink it? No, I was just blown off. Why is everybody it's making solid. the sounds? Try to make it. Can you make the sound? No, I can't do it. You try it? Hot? Drink it. That's what we do. No, go. You're good. <laughs> He's so fucking scared. Is he still? He hasn't gotten any of it. I don't it. want it to be hot. Stick your tongue in it. You know, like a cat licks <laughs> he its own didn't shit. Even put it in his mouth yet. Mm-mm. How do you guys like it? Tastes like shit. Tastes like shit. Does but on, it? On the better end of shit I've tasted. 
<laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. It actually tastes really good. Isn't it good? It is really good. You, Travis, you don't like it. I'm not a coffee it's drinker. Not though. It's, not a, it's not very dark. It's not like a dark roast. It's like oh. a little bit. <laughs> I, I, but I like black coffee though. So like do I. I try. I, love I like black it. Coffee. Like I like it without putting stuff in it. Yeah. So do I. So I like I this mug really, on my lap because it's warm. I was happy with this. This is good. I could drink this for sure. Yeah. I don't Dude, know I like what, the setup. Well, I'm not going to finish it. it. Can great. I dump it back in there? Put a link to it on there? Amazon. So yeah, I'll, I'll send you a link. You already got yeah. the tea kettle. So you just drink straight black coffee? Every day. Why? Because it's lovely. You if just, I got like, if beautiful. I go to the coffee shop, I'll get like a latte with different flavors. I went to the coffee like, shop today, and they had two different drip coffees that were like seasonal Christmas stuff, and I asked them what the difference was. So they gave me a whole, all the node breakdowns, like this one's got honey and... Cinnamon Damn, for this. real? Yeah. You can, like, when you take out all the other shit from coffee, you can taste everything. I can taste what else those cats ate. Wow. Yeah. What? Ew. A lot of grass. A lot of grass. <laughs> and pine berries. <laughs> a lot of grass and pussy. <laughs> Gosh. All right. While the coffee is in our hands and being drank this or whatever else, I like this. Dude. Let's get a topic rolling because there's one thing that we didn't talk about that last episode, but there's something that needs to be talked about. Hold on, Travis, you done with your coffee? Yeah. Cody Ray, can you get me a mug of that? Oh, yeah. dude, that feels good. That feels so good on my lap. Oh, dump that hot ass coffee on my lap. Don't do that. <laughs> it was Taylor's pour over. <laughs> Suing his ass. <laughs> I'll sue the fuck out of you. <laughs> I like the the thing. What is Owie. it called? It's a pour over. It, this thing is called a pour over. Yeah. I just it feels weird. It needs a handle. No, it's, you use the cork thing. Yeah, but this throws me off right here because I'm right handed. Oh, that this makes like, it look artisanal. Yeah, I know, but what the fuck's artisanal? You gotta be a, you gotta bro. be super douchey to make coffee in one of those. Artisanal. It's made up. He's probably got his own espresso machine, huh? Not I, yet, I don't. I'm waiting on one. What? I'm about to get one. This is not even a whole cup of coffee, Cody Ray. Thank you. Thank you. you Look at Taylor. Yeah, dude. Looks like you should be wear, reading the fucking newspaper right now. It was really it was bad. Shocking. Really bad. Thank you. It's no for me. Well, That's a no. It for wasn't me. the worst yeah. thing I've made you try, Travis. No, that wasn't bad. I didn't hate it. I just uh, I actually uh, like this. I'm building back a little trust slowly. I hope they're offering oh, cash slowly. out. False All sense right. of security, you know. Now I need a like a cigarette and a, or a joint. What? <laughs> Drinking your coffee. In the I didn't like it. Sorry. We I didn't like it. Well, you don't. You don't drink coffee regularly, do you? Thirty-six dollar cash out. <laughs> <laughs> he put two hundred dollars on it. Where's the game? Where's the game at right now? Seattle ball. Six minutes left. What are they up? What's the score? Twenty-eight. Sixteen. Twenty-eight. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but yeah, I think I'm gonna just take the cash out. Thirty-six. Dude, watch Christian McCaffrey get a tutty after. Oh nope, cash out unavailable. <sighs> Quick moment of silence for the goon. Yeah, right, fuck period. it. You know, you win some, you lose some. And moment just... of silence. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a real hard beat. Real hard beat for you. Still won some money today. Lost a lot. It's all right. So have you ever tried coffee before this? I mean, not straight black coffee. I mean, I like Your the first sh straight black coffee was cat poop coffee? Hey. Yeah. What's the name of this? Kopi Luwak. Kopi Luwak? Kopi Luwak. Something I could get down on. Some yeah, I used to like. like all that frou frou coffee bullshit too. And then, like, when I was serving at a restaurant, this old lady was like, You know what you gotta do? You gotta have black coffee for a week. And then you'll love it. And that was like eight years ago. I've never gone back. I like it's, the it, shit. It's a bit of an acquired taste, but so is beer. Yeah. Like yeah. Like well, you, yeah. I don't want to get addicted to caffeine, though, and, like that. And sometimes, oh, I'm like, all that the extra cream and stuff is real heavy. Taylor's addicted to it. I have, like, like, two pots of coffee a day with, like, an energy oh, I'm drink. To caffeine, I have pre workout sure. I take every day. Bro, I'm just. Red I, I need to get off Red Bull, actually. <laughs> I like. I, need to get off I like them drinks that she'll get from Duncan. Like, I'll drink. The, the Red Bull freezes? No, Taylor. She'll get from Duncan. It's like a. Caramel craze, 
Some I don't know. It's good, but it's it's something I can't drink a whole thing of. Yeah, it's just a lot of sugar. It's too sweet. Like heavy. Oh my god, it's sickeningly sweet. It's a good taste. Heavy just like stomach. the coffee you made me get, bro. Disgusting. What? what? Disgusting. What, what do you coffee? made me get from Circle K? What do you mean? You told me to buy this. I swear to God. Oh, this the is nitro cold brew. Dude, that Fuck was yeah. fucking devil. disgusting. That's like Adderall I, in a that can. Was my, that was maybe the worst thing I've ever drank in my life. Adderall in a can, man. I've had I them Starbucks it. coffees in a bottle. Them that you get at like Kroger. It's that, but the nitro cold brew one. I'm like, them aren't It's terrible. got a little canister fucking of nitrogen terrible. in the bottom, and then when you crack it, it releases into the coffee. It's so what? Yeah, I drank it and finished oh it. I go, what the God. fuck's on the bottom there? He goes, that's the nitro. And I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, what? Is this a fucking okay. car? It didn't even it really do anything to me, which was into crazy. Your blood is this faster? a fucking Fast and Furious car? It is. <laughs> Dude, I thought it was going to like make me want to like scratch my fucking eyeballs, but it didn't. Like It didn't it's do got You got the, the, color, the, um, the stupid sweet one. You got to get the black one. That's like barely sweet. I meant to bring you one. I Once forgot. you go black, you never go back. Once you go black... You never go back. Um, coffee. That's what that old white lady told me about coffee, the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Hilarious. god! Hilarious. That's so funny. Oh, <laughs> I want to meet this lady. But no, she's oh. not going back, man. I wanted to talk about this. I'm gonna talk about this because this is very interesting, and I think you'll enjoy this. Okay. Shohei Otani. Do you know who that person is? Nope. A person he uh, is, is a pitcher, or basically in everything in baseball, but his position is pitching. And he used to play for the Angels, just became a free agent, went all across the market. 32 teams wanted to have interest in him. He just signed to the Dodgers, L.A. team to L.A. team, $700 million contract. $700 million. Went from the same city to – Same LA. city. Los Angeles Angels to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Just different uniform. Sure. $700 million. Now, what's crazy about this guy is the fact that in baseball, a lot of times the pitcher in the NL will hit. They're not good at hitting. They might have a guy that can hit a home run here or there, whatever. Shohei Otani led the league in home runs. Jesus. And was one of the best pitchers in the league. This guy, truthfully, when you look at his stats and you look at how good he is, he is a fucking creative player in real life. Yeah. Really? It is. He's, he's insane. He's just that good. Like the GOAT? It, the genuinely. He'll be the greatest we'll see of our time. He might be the greatest of all time. Like, he's on path to be the greatest of all time baseball player. Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani. They're comparing him to Babe Ruth. And the legend of Babe Ruth. Like, the, oh right. my God, like Babe Ruth's the best that. because of he was able to pitch and do this stuff. When back when people were, like, smoking cigars as they were going up the bat and they were getting drunk as shit playing baseball. Like, it they was played, barely competition. They played way less games then, too. Yeah, like, there was nothing. Shohei Otani can, and if he's not pitching, sometimes they'll put him in the outfield. Sometimes they'll put him at first base and such, just so he can still play and hit. Yeah, because he's that good of a hitter. He's better than the majority of the hitters in the league. And oh, he's so they won't him, pitch him so that he can bat. Huh? So they won't pitch him so that they can so he can bat. He'll bat because the, so he stayed in the NL, which is where pitchers hit. You're in rotation. In right. the AL, you go a designated hitter. NL, it is pitchers are in the rotation right. for batting. So he wanted to stay in the NL so he can hit because that's where his specialty is. So he's able to pitch and hit whenever he's not pitching. If they need him in clutch games, they will throw him out on the field, take the position player off, and put him in the cycle that's so insane. he can still hit because he's that good. God damn. He's it insane, is, dude. It's, is this like it's, the biggest contract ever? Baseball? I don't know if it's the biggest contract I don't contract know if it's ever. the biggest, but it's... I mean, it's a 10-year, $700 million. It's basically the same contract Patrick Mahomes signed. Baseball. And he can do everything. Can it's the craziest thing. It is mind-blowing when you see this guy. Because he will have games where he has two home runs and pitches that day and has eight or nine strikeouts. Like, wipes everybody off the map. Like, you've never seen it before. Is it it's a 10-year deal common? No. Mm -mm. As long as fuck. No, I feel, yeah. like, I feel like baseball players play for a while though, don't they? Well, yeah, they have long careers. Yeah. But you have like Tommy John, all that you have like I think he's got some elbow issues. He'll he, potentially he, he's still hurt. I think it'll potentially be a thing where he stops pitching, more than likely. But it doesn't matter because he's that good at hitting. Yeah, then he could just play other positions. He was yeah. leading the league in home runs as a pitcher who was one of the best pitchers mm. in the league at the same time. That does never happen. That so, yeah, never happens. That's unheard of. Never happens, bro. So yeah, that's that's this. I figured you're, you're looking at me like that's fucking mind blowing. It is crazy. It, imagine this. 
Patrick Mahomes uh-huh. will throw for 300. Because uh, I love talking about, like, everybody's like, compare this to basketball. Compare this to whatever. It's like having Patrick Mahomes have 400-yard passing games and then going on defense and having two interceptions. Right. And That's being insane. able to pick off the pass. There's a brawl going on. There was a brawl going on right now. There was a big fight? Hold on. There was. God bless. While we're still on baseball, you, you remember Ichiro Suzuki? Suzuki yeah, Ichiro Suzuki. goaded. Dude, he still plays. I yeah. saw a video of him. He pitched a no-hitter against some ladies team. Yeah, it was wherever, like, what? wherever he's from. What? Yeah, he was a pitcher. Wow. Trying to encourage, Ishiro Suzuki. trying to encourage women to play baseball. Yes, and he threw a fucking no hitter. Throws a no hitter. Yeah. Suzuki threw uh, a no hitter. 117 pitches or something like that. What? Throws a no hitter. Yeah, hold on. Let me get this. It was. This is amazing. Yeah, dog. Ichiro Suzuki throws a no no. <laughs> and this was fifty year old women. Ichiro Suzuki throws complete game shutout versus high school something. Hold on. God damn. This Dude. high school girls team. Dog. Bro. I love it. He's it, only 50? Wow. He had a long career. God bless. He started playing, though, like really young. Yeah, 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 yeah. 14 strikeouts. 14 strikeouts. <laughs> <laughs> Just running that high school team, dude. God bless. That's so funny. Dude. Is that I it on it? That. Oh, my gosh. But no, I figured to throw it out because we were gonna talk about it last episode and I forgot about it. But I, I, just the the thought process of having somebody like that on your team is an, um, unbelievable. But to see it in our time is awesome. Yeah, dude, it makes me want to watch baseball more. Like when baseball we're watching turned, history while while COVID happened and like baseball and uh, baseball and basketball turned their mm-hmm. uh, seasons in half basically, and you know, the games were a lot more intense and such. That's why I yeah. love what's happened with the uh, in season tournament with basketball. Mm-hmm. They brought intensity at the beginning of the season. I loved watching Shohei Otani go out there and not fuck off at all. Like, he doesn't fuck off, but, like, he goes out there and he's going to hit dingers immediately. Immediately. He's, hitting, he's smoking you. And, like, when it goes to the ninth inning, there's no let up. There's no, like, ah, we can take a loss on this one because it's, like, you got to win. That's why I love – me and you been – me and you been gambling on that season. It, it ended, what was it, two weeks now or a week ago from what this is – you're hearing this. But me and you were on that in-season tournament hard. Yeah. I haven't paid attention to basketball in a decade before that tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was fun to watch basketball again it during was. season. It was fun. Because I hate watching it during the season until the playoffs. And now we have in-season playoffs. I'm game for that. I'll watch that all day. Yeah, I've been watching it too. Taylor just hates basketball because her stepdad used to watch it so much. So she's just like anything but basketball. And I'm like, damn. I got 10 parlays on this. Madam. It's kind I'm of like, like please. I'm I like, head out please. Of the car I'm working on here. On the radio. Little, I'm up. working here. So I can't li- like if I cannot listen to a baseball game on the radio anymore. Listening to baseball is snoozy. You can't listen to it, but it like makes me sick. <laughs> it's not even like I don't like it. Just like I, like in the hot car on a summer day, listening to the baseball game, I instantly want to vomit. God bless. Yeah, it sucks. It's a PTSD or some sh- something. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Dude, I really want this Christian McCaffrey touchdown to happen just because I want his pop. It's not gonna happen. How much left? I don't know. I know it's like two, like three minutes or two minutes. But there was like after that brawl, like a bunch of flags. So who knows where the ball is gonna be spotted? Does 49ers have the ball? Yeah. Oh my god. What else we got on here? What else we got on here? You want to talk about what you wanted to talk about? Nah, I don't. Nah. There's two things on the board that you can talk about. <laughs> Fuck. Fat blondes, bro. Do they matter? Why Why yeah, wouldn't they matter? Yeah, yeah. like... What, what do you... What do you mean I don't know. By I, was at, I was asked Show that at us a your bar. Argument. <laughs> Are they different than skinny blondes? I don't know. Yeah, I was bring asked up that the argument. Like, what, what do you mean? I don't know. I was asked that at a bar. Like, do fat blondes matter? And I looked at a couple, and I was just like... I don't know. Maybe? Oh. Yes? Okay, well, let, look at... The only is reason there any fat blondes that are, like... Well, the, Famous for anything? Melissa McCarthy. And is it wim- is it just fat blonde women or fat blonde in general? I don't know. What I was just dudes? I don't know cuz I I don't know. I was kind of thrown off by the question, but I was like, I mean, fat girls got fat titties. Love that. Fact. Okay. And there's big girls Unless that have, they don't. And there's big girls that have really pretty faces. It's a fact. Okay. I don't know. They matter. Who asked you this, Nick? My boy Coleman. 
<laughs> my boy Coleman was smacked and said, "Hey, bro, you gotta ask this for Travis." Ask it to me. Ask it for you. So I was, yeah. Do fat blondes matter? I say they matter. Right, they matter. Fat blondes they need love too, guys and girls. I'm sure. I'm sure it's what what <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This is what he brings to the podcast. We got his screen next ideas. Put this shit on for the last week's episode. It goes, Fat Blondes, let's talk about it. I'm like, I, I fucking guess. Let's write it down. <laughs> Forgets it the first episode. Goes, we can roll it in. Goes, Fat Blondes. I got I that, said, that shit might be wet. I said we didn't have to talk about it. No, we had to talk about that. I don't know, man. I, don't, I think they matter more. Why is that? I think they matter more because, like, they love their people, bro. Because they know they might not get another one. True. So, no, so they be loving, loving. That love is special because they don't know if they can find it again. True. They hold you up and they just make the sure that they just. <laughs> or just the, just the blonde ones or just the fat ones? No, the blondes. Because they ain't smart. <laughs> it all works out, dude. <sighs> but no, fat blondes. It's just it's just endless love. Oh my god, Austin Eckler yeah. touchdown? I, no. I think black. <laughs> fat you blondes think matter. Black? Black Is blondes matter. Just... Black blondes matter. <laughs> I think matter. black. That's a that's a thing. Black blondes? Yeah. This is a thing. They matter too. Yeah. Especially Goodness big black gracious. blondes. This episode Do big black blondes all matter. Blonde, all blondes matter. Real. All blondes matter. All <laughs> blondes matter. <laughs> big, small. Little or tall. <laughs> yeah, a little tall. Oh my god. Oh, we've had dry. cat Hashtag shit all coffee. Blondes matter. And missing bets. And fat and blondes. All blondes a, matter on this episode. This is a, it's a we're doozy. All over the place. Oh, we're all over the place on this episode. We're having fun though. We're having fun. We are having fun. You wanna talk about anything else? Do I have something on that board? No, you have nothing on the board. I, say, you, I can't anybody see wanna talk it. about anything else? We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get out of here. Mm. Is your bat gonna hit? No, and they're not offering a cash out. San Fran's got the ball. Hmm. Oh, well. well. How much time is left on sorry, that? People. Two minutes. You learned Two about minutes? What is the name of this coffee? Hooga Booga? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, everybody, we're out of here. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Oh hey. Hooga Booga. <laughs> we'll catch you guys vlogging at Bill Squire Special. If you guys listen to this whole episode, we appreciate the fuck wrong? out of you, dude. <laughs> Go to Bill Squire's special, dude. Koopa, it's at Koomba. the Agora on the 22nd. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Have it's mercy. Koopa Koomba. Goodness no, Ooga Booga. Shrimp Luca. It's guys, Koopa. we appreciate you guys. Shrimp Go to Bill Boston. Squire's special taping. Go to Nick's comedy show on oh, the 23rd yeah, that's, at that's Moonshine. Friday, Saturday. Moonshine. Yeah, dude, we didn't even get to talk about it. There's been so much shit happening on this episode. Are you doing another intro to that? Moonshine.com. I did one. Go to moonshine.com. <laughs> See your boy fairy tale. See your boy go, Have a good weekend, guys. We'll catch you guys on the Christmas Ooga Ooga. episode. Peace. Bye. Shut up.